Hi guys! Today I want to talk to you about using jump math curriculum in our homeschool for grade 2. It's kind of like a mid-year review because we switched partway through the year. My name is Dee and this is my channel Kindling Wild where I'm going to talk to you guys about homeschool, homemaking, and outdoor living. So let's get started. A little bit of background first of all. Jump Math is actually a charitable organization started by a man named John Mighton. He's Canadian and he has a TED talk, but I don't think that I've watched it. Um, but anyway, he just didn't want any kids to be left behind in math and I think that he really is accomplishing that with this. Um, this is the Canadian edition. We're Canadian. There's an American edition. There's also a French edition. If you're in Canada and you are using more of a French immersion or a French language homeschool, you might want to check that out. Let me show you how much blank space. Look at all that. Isn't it beautiful? This has so much white space and it is my number one first like takeaway from the book. I got it from amazon.ca with prime shipping and I opened it up and I said, oh yeah, this is not going to confuse my kid because he doesn't do well with visual clutter. So, um, Lots of white space is my number one yes. It's just really minimalist in appearance and it's perfect. Another thing that's really minimalist about it is that there isn't like a big teacher manual. I don't have to store that downstairs somewhere. I do a lot of my homeschooling upstairs during the day. And uh, if there's another big manual, I usually don't use it. I just put it in the cupboard. So this, um, does have teacher resources. They're all available online for free. You just go to jumpmath.org, sign up for a free teacher account and sign in and there's videos, there's game suggestions, there's everything that you need. But I have used it like twice to check it out. It's not that hard to teach grade two math so I think that like if it were a harder concept or something that, you know, I was, I forgot how to do, then I might be using that, but I'm not using it yet. Budget. Um, you don't have to pay for a big teacher book. You don't have to pay for anything else really other than this. And it was $12. So it's about $25 to do the whole year because it's two workbooks, one for the first sort of semester and one for the second. Um, awesome, fantastic, very, very budget friendly. Number four, just enough of each concept. So another thing that I had mentioned that was really bad in our first book is that like the chapter was really overwhelming you were doing a lot of practice and you didn't feel like you were getting anywhere. But this, it's sort of like several pages um, on a topic and then it moves on. And I just feel like it make, it's making the perfect increments. It's not really enough to be super bored of a concept. Um, it's just the perfect amount for us. Um, and I do also feel like if you needed more, if your kid was not getting something, then that's when you would go online and find some more of those extra practice sheets and things like that that they have there available. But it's not there making you feel like you should be doing it in the book, cluttering up your life. Oh yeah, I wanted to say I really needed something that was open and go. I know a lot of homeschool moms find themselves in this situation where they have maybe they have multiple age groups that they're schooling or they have one in school and then younger ones. I personally was just starting to freak out in my mind a little bit because
because I was, um, uh, I'm pregnant with baby number four and that's super wonderful, but I was really worried about just having academics slide while I was really sick at the beginning of this pregnancy. And because of this, we actually did, because of how simple it was and how open and go it was, we actually didn't miss any math. I think we were more consistent about our math in my time of morning sickness because I was just kind of at home and I could just be like, can you bring me your math book and I'll help you with it in bed. Um, <laughs> too graphic. Um, I think we were more consistent over those like two months than go wash your face than any other. Oh my gosh. He just came in from the sand pit. This is, <laughs> sorry. Okay, anyway, that's it. Now, downsides. So far, I have found two downsides to this curriculum. And the first one is just me not being super prepared. I have the Matthew C manipulatives that friend gave me. And they are so great for like place value and everything. They're just wonderful. But um, this book in the measuring unit um, called for small and large manipulative cubes, like the ones that click together. And I didn't actually look through it, so I didn't actually know. And then when we got to that, it was just a few pages of moving it. And I was kind of like, we'll just do something else to get the concept of measuring. Um, but like, anyway, that is sort of a, a required material that I didn't actually know that I required because I don't think it says it. It might say it online in those free teacher resources. Um, and then the second downside that I have found, but I've sort of just um, figured out a way around, is that it is not spiral. I wasn't looking for spiral. I didn't want spiral. But <laughs> once we did, like, sorting and measuring and geometry, I was starting to feel like it's been a really long time since we did any adding or subtracting. And he finally got place value thanks to this lovely book. So I really didn't want him to forget how to do place value. So what I did to sort of compensate for that was I just pulled a couple things more into our morning basket time with some flashcards that I have because my mother-in-law was a teacher and she gave them to me and some um, our abacus and our Osborne math books. I, we just sort of played around with those sometimes to do a tiny bit of review and compensate for that and make sure that we weren't totally forgetting um, the concept of like what the number nine looks like compared to a six, but you know. Thank you so much for watching my review of Jump Math. If you're looking for something for your kid who maybe needs something a little more simple or you just want something really open and go, I highly recommend it. And I will let you know how it forward. Let me know in comments if you guys have used Jump Math and what you thought of it.